Hello, I'm back again. Rach the Stamper here. I thought I'd give you guys a quick tour of my um, stamp room. I just redid, and I don't know what happened. The Wi-Fi dropped or something, which is strange because I'm standing right next to it. But anyway, so let me just wait and hop, see a few people hop on here before I actually start going through. And then um, if not, I'm going to just go through and show you what I did. And I will show you um, a quick card that I was thinking about the other day. I was wearing an outfit and I thought, wow, these colors would look really good together if we had these colors. And we do, because it's Delightful Dijon and Night of Navy and I have the Wherever You Go stamp set that we're gonna make a quick card with. That's one of my favorites. And we're gonna do a little bit of um, sponge brayering and yeah, I think that's it. We're gonna do a little sponge brayer, make it a little masculine card. Okay, so what I'm going to do really quickly is just flip. Okay, let me back out a little bit. So this is my craft room. And basically the other day I had, sorry, let me move somebody out of the way. The other day I had some really large shelves here. So what I did is, Christian, can you back up some a little bit, buddy? I, um, I took out the big shelves and I got these smaller shelves from Ikea. Sorry for the little, little stamper here. And I basically moved most of the stuff that I had up here and all behind here. And I still have one more little cabinet I'm going to put in. But I had a lot of stuff here and it was kind of just all in a gigantic disarray. So what I did is I reorganized it. So I have all my stamps here underneath. Not all of them really, but those are all mostly the clear mount stamps. I have my um, embossing powder, all of my markers, all of my embossing folders, all of my die cuts. Um, they're all there. I did go through and actually got some magnetic sheets and I put all of my die cuts onto them because I found that I kept, like one piece would fall out and then I couldn't remember what it went with, so I figured it'd be nicer to do that. So I actually got them just on Amazon, and it came in super helpful, especially with all these ones with the little, the pretty pines. It has a lot of little ones. The Swirly Bird set, though. That's not it. That's Sunshine Wishes. But Swirly Bird has a lot of really little ones. So I have those there. I have my um, old Prismacolor pencils. I have, like, all of my extra glue adhesive and everything in there. Um, and then... Kind of have all my punches over here i went with putting the retired ones in the back and then i put the newer ones in the front same thing with up here Th those are all current stamps and then the ones at the bottom are retired stamps or christmas or halloween things that i won't get rid of i do still have a lot of stamps up top there but they're all like the wood mount ones so those i didn't really want to go through I don't want to say the trouble of putting in a box but it's not things that I use as frequently so I just decided to kind of keep those where they were so the other thing that I really love about my craft room that I found was super helpful um, Stampin' Storage sells this I also have uh, a problem with as you can see over here designer series paper I love it. I've got, I've got a ton of designer series paper, but I found that getting this for my ink and markers and refills really helped keep me organized and um, helped to make it easier for me to make cards. I like it a lot. The only problem is as soon as I got it, I filled it up. So I think I still have to get another little new one because new in colors will be coming out shortly when the uh, new annual catalog comes in. So I have, uh, again, I said I have one little more, um, can, it's a really, like a small, it's kind of like, I think it's an, an end table, or nightstand, I should say, and I'm going to put it in there, and I'm going to put, like, my, because I have my Stampin' Up! trimmer up here, and then I have my um, Simply Scored, and I'm going to leave my Big Shot over there, because that way it's out, and it's easier to get to, because I used to really wrestle with the way I had stuff organized, so anyway... This is going to be how I'm going to try to um, have my new craft space. So hopefully it'll be a little bit better. And I'm going to go ahead and hook you guys up. So you can see this card that we're going to do. 
Hopefully the lighting is bright enough there. It's not super bright in this room, so. All right, so what we're gonna do today is, um, so anyway, the other day I had on uh, a sweater that was kind of like Delightful Dijon with some really dark jeans, and I thought, wow, this would make a great card. And these are the crazy ideas that I come up with, so that's just the way my brain works, I suppose. So we're gonna use the Wherever You Go stamp set. This is in the annual catalog, um, which does go through to May 31st. So that's in the big fat catalog here. And this stuff all goes through to May 31st. Got a lot of really nice stamp sets and all the ink colors and paper and whatnot. So let me just get this out of the way and I'm gonna show you guys this card we're gonna make. So I thought it'd be fun to do the Lightful Dijon Knight of Navy. And then we're gonna do the same color with the ink. So I have a Knight of Navy base. This is uh, eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. And then I have a piece of Delightful Dijon four by five and a quarter. And then a piece of Very Vanilla three and three quarters by five. So we're gonna go ahead and brayer onto this first. And then we're gonna use the um, Sunburst and the Bridge from the Wherever You Go stamp set. So we're going to first use the Delightful Dijon and we're gonna use the sponge brayer. So we're gonna just run all the way across We'll do the um, the sun part first, and I don't want this to be really dark, so I'm gonna just see where it goes from here because I want the sun to be darker. So I'm just gonna roll across it just lightly, kind of just to get that sun, sun sky. That's really good enough because I don't want it to be super dark. And I'm gonna leave this out because we are gonna stamp with it. And then you would wanna go rinse this out, but I don't wanna make you wait that long. So we're gonna use now Night of Navy and just do a little bit of the water as well. Okay, let's see what this looks like. So a little bit of the water. There you go. Kind of gives you a little skyline, water line there. I'm going to go a little bit darker down at the bottom. So when you do your brayer, you, the way the other one used to work, you had to make sure you rolled on and off because you would get a lot more lines. This one doesn't work quite the same, but I do ch still try to go all the way off, all the way on. Okay, and you're just layering uh, layers of ink. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on the side. And what we're going to do first is we're going to do our sun, our sunset or sunburst, whatever it is you want to call this. So we're going to ink this up in the uh, Delightful Dijon. And uh, this one I want to be a little bit darker. So it sticks out against the, the Delightful Dijon that we already brayered. So we're going to just go ahead and stamp our sun. All right, that looks nice. And I'm gonna close this up so I don't make a mess. And now we're just gonna go over with the bridge. And again, this is a Knight of Navy. And if you find that you don't think this is dark enough, you could also do it in black. That would work out really well. Or really even early espresso. So I'm gonna just kind of figure where I want my bridge to be. Um, it's kind of going across, but I, I do want it to be as it's going into the sunset but so this edge meets the edge of the card so I'm gonna line it more with the edge of this card here and then wherever it goes in the back we'll just let it go like Elsa said Okay. all right so there we go what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and blend a little bit of a uh, night of naval night of Navy down here just to give an effect that there is water hitting the bottom of the bridge and for that I'm gonna use a blender pen and I'm going to go ahead and just close my ink pad, squeeze it together just to make a little pool. And then I'm going to use my blender pen just to pull a little bit of ink and just drag it down here at the bottom just to kind of create like as if the, the water is rushing up or there's like a little rock build up. And then we're just going to pretend like this bridge wraps around to the other side and that's why you can't see it. So I'm going to drag this out just a little bit. Okay, wipe off just a smidge, a little bit lighter, same thing on the other side, but a little lighter, just so it looks like it has a base of something that it's not just floating out in the water, and then just underneath, kind of blend them together, will give a little bit of effect of depth in water is really what you want. Okay, so same thing again, and I'm just going to bring out just a little bit of a shadow, since the sun is on that side. And it kind of just blends also what we've already brayered here a slight bit. 
That way it just doesn't look like just sponged, like you didn't really finish the card. So we're just dragging out. I'm going to just one more time bring a little bit more ink and I'm going to start off just so I don't have any big globs of ink or really dark spots, I should say. Not really globs, I guess. Not very good terminology. Okay, so a little bit, I'm going to just take and just slightly blend here just to smudge this out a little bit. I want it to be too little bit over here just to bring in the edge of the horizon just right on that let me blend that off a little bit give you that nice blurred horizon line same thing on this side and if you do this with a watercolor pen versus a blender pen you definitely want to use a thicker paper so you can either use the thick whisper white you could use the water pa watercolor paper you could use the shimmery white paper either of those will be great and i'm going to um you know what i want to do one other thing just because of the way this was on the edge now you could do this two different ways you can either trim it just a little bit shorter so you don't have that harsh edge there or you can just do the same thing with your ink and just kind of grab and just bring it out a little bit up to you depending on how you're feeling I don't like putting a lot or a little bit of effort into it, but totally up to you. Most likely, most people really probably won't notice it anyway. And if you don't like it, you can certainly trim it off. No big deal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just layer this onto my card stock. And then we'll decide about putting um, a sentiment. So again, this piece was five and a half by eight and a half. I'm going to score it at four and a quarter and just go over it with the bone folder. And we're going to adhere our piece of Delightful Dijon and our little layer to it there. So let me just grab some snail adhesive. I'm gonna stick that on. Okay, same thing here. Stick this on. So this would be a great Father's Day card, male birthday card. I know a lot of people struggle with male cards. The other thing I'm going to do before I'm finished is I'm going to take a little bit of Wink of Stella. This is just a little bit of a glitter pen. So what we're going to do is just take and kind of make the sun just a little bit shimmery in the end. The only thing you want to make sure to do is when you go from a lighter to a, or yeah, a darker to a lighter color is to Clean it out in between because it will pick up the color and then it kind of can bleed it onto your other cards. So, for example, when you're in a spot that has the yellow and the navy, you want to kind of keep them separate. And we'll just do a little bit like the waves kind of beating against the pilings. Okay, we'll just get a little bit more here. So you just don't want to bleed your dark color onto your light color. Okay, so you have a couple of sentiments that go with this one. Wherever you go, go with all your heart or sending thoughts your way. The other thing we can do is we can add a different sentiment. And let me just see if I can grab one quickly. This one is one that I really, really like a lot. So how about if we do this one? Everyone needs a friend like you. That's a really nice one. So I'm going to grab just a little piece of very vanilla and we'll go ahead and stamp this um, again in Night of Navy just to kind of stick with a little bit of the consistency. Okay. All right. So just give that a press. All right. And... So that looks nice and what we can do is you could do you could use a punch to punch this out if you wanted to you could use a framelit but I'm going to just trim across the bottom just with, just with scissors okay and I'm going to just trim the edge of it up just a little bit sometimes when you have these that are kind of scripty instead of um, making it square I kind of like to go with the image a little bit almost like you're just trimming it out slightly. I used to carry this little uh, 
I can't even remember what they were called, but Stampin' Up! used to make this little round thing that you could trace around and you could actually cut it out and it kind of made a little bit of an outline around it. They were really cute. A little bit of a pain in the hiney to use, but I really liked those a lot. But it kind of made, so you could make this custom yourself, but you can do it just like that with scissors. So what we're going to do is just pop this up on dimensionals. I think the biggest problem I'm going to have now that I've uh, rearranged my stamp, stamp room is finding whatever it is I need when I'm making a video quickly because I'd be like, oh, wait a minute. I thought that was there. No, it's not. <laughs> so we'll just put this right here at the bottom. Everyone needs a friend like you. And if you're going to put, put something on the inside, you're just going to want to put either a piece of very vanilla or whisper white. And that'll just finish up your card. So that was pretty quick and simple. And, um, you know, the brayer that the new sponge brayer they have, all you have to do is rinse this out with water, let it dry. It comes with two brayers and two refills. So you can swap them out really easily. They just pop right off. Just like that. And then you'll have a clean one if you wanted to switch in between. Just pop it right on. Rinse it off and you're all done. So guys, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the craft room tour. Um, I will repost this to Facebook so you can rewatch it if you missed the beginning of it. Um, again, right now is Celebration. They came out with three brand new Celebration things that you can get free. You can get one thing free with every $50 order. There is a 6x6 stack of glimmer paper that is so, so adorable. It is sweet sugar plum. I think Emerald Envy and Dapper Denim, but I could be mistaken, but it is so pretty. They also have a reverse word stamp set that's really nice and a medallion stamp set that's really cool as well. And then we also still have the other celebration items, which are the Avant Garden, which is a really pretty uh, multi-step multi stamp. You could stamp, you know, two steps or you can do it single. You can get the um, Carried Away Designer Series paper, which is one of my absolute favorites. The Thank You, and then it has a bunch of different words. Delicate Details, which makes really, really pretty cards, and they don't have to just look lacy. I found a, really, a lot of these on Pinterest. Then there's also the Inside the Lines Designer Series paper, which you can color in. Coloring is really big. You could use the watercolor pencils and color that in. Super fun. Or you can leave it black and white and do a pop of color on it. That's also fun. The metallic ribbon combo pack comes with silver and gold. This is much prettier in, in person than it is in this book, trust me. I got it because I thought, oh, it's a ribbon, but it's really, really pretty. I've used it quite a lot. The Tasty Trucks stamp set, which is really big with the food trucks right now. You can see there's so many different fun ways to color this. You could use the watercolor pencils, or you could use the ink pads and the blender pen or the watercolor pen. And then there's the Any Occasion stamp set. The card tin, you can make somebody a bunch of cards, put it in the tin, give it to them as a gift. They have the cool Hey Chick set, which is really, really fun. Really great for Easter. And then there is the Designer Tea stamp set, which was a must in my house because of the train, right? Everybody in this house loves trains. And then there's also the Pretty Pocket card kit. This is really fun. You get to make um, two, four, six, eight cards. It comes with everything you see here. And comes with a envelope, so that's a really great thing to get, especially if you're new to stamping, because this has everything in it. All you need is adhesive. So these are um, available through March 31st, or while supplies last. Once it gets towards the end, a lot of stuff does run out. So if there's something that you've been thinking about getting, you'd be better off placing orders sooner than later. That happened, um, you know, it kind of happens every year, but it happens towards the end of every time. Some things, when they run out, they can't make them any longer. So if there's something you really think you want to get, for every $50 purchase, you get one item out of here free. And also now they added the glimmer paper, the reverse word stamp set, and the um, medallion stamp set, which is really pretty too. So if you need a catalog, please feel free to shoot me an email at rachthestamper at gmail.com. I can send you one right out. You can also supply, ooh, shop in my online store 24-7 at rachthestamper.stampinup.net. If you haven't already, make sure to follow me on Facebook at Rach the Stamper. And you can also find me on YouTube and Instagram. I do lots of um, videos, instructional videos, which hopefully you guys like. So thanks for taking time to join and watch today. I really appreciate it. If you have any comments, you can feel free to leave one on here or give me a like on YouTube. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a great day.